you you are at Mimi's house today and I'm so glad to have you here because we are reading a story from the Bible this is God's story for me and that me means you today we are going to read about Ruth and Naomi and this is special to me because my mama's name was Ruth and I think this is where um, they they got her name was from the Bible and that happens sometimes people can choose names from the Bible so let's begin Ruth is faithful Ruth and Naomi were alone they had no food they had no money to buy food so Ruth and Naomi walked and walked they came to Bethlehem it was Naomi's hometown at that time the barley was ripe Ruth went to a barley field she walked after the harvest workers she picked up the barley they left on the ground she took it home to share with Naomi now they had food Ruth was glad to help Naomi someone had noticed Ruth working his name was Boaz he owned the field where Ruth worked he saw how kind Ruth was he gave Ruth extra barley he said please stay in my field drink water from my water jars Boaz helped Ruth and Naomi he helped Naomi get her land back then Boaz and Ruth got married they had a baby named Obed Naomi was so happy and Obed grew up and Obed's son was Jesse and then Jesse had a son named David and David became Israel's great king so God wants us to care about others and work hard to help them this next story is God hears Hannah Hannah had no children not one that made her very sad every year Hannah and her husband worshiped God at the tabernacle the tabernacle was the big tent where God's people prayed to God one day Hannah whispered to God please give me a son I'll teach him to love and obey you please give me a baby Eli the teacher saw Hannah he said I'll ask I'll ask God to give you what you ask Hannah went home very happy she knew that God listens to pray months later baby Samuel was born Hannah took good care of him then Samuel grew older Hannah took him to the tabernacle Samuel lived and worked there with Eli and every year Hannah visited him she always brought Samuel a new coat she made it just Samuel grew and learned he listened to and obeyed God God wants us to talk to him talking and listening to God is one way that we love him God loves it when we talk to him and I hope you remember a Bible verse that you learned from 1 John and it is God is love he does love us and cares for us and let's just say a short prayer to God right now dear Lord God 
we thank you for all the blessings that you give us. We thank you for every good thing because we know it comes from you. We praise your name. Amen. Okay, I hope to see you tomorrow at Mimi's house at 3 o'clock. Thank you for coming today. See you then. Bye-bye.